Neverwinter's Storm King's Thunder goes live, Epic Games' Paragon hits open beta, all that and more. I'm Zach Sharps, and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, Aria Games has brought forth a brand new content update for the free-to-play MMORPG Echo of Soul. Wrath of the Goddess Episode 2.5 brings with it a slew of new content. This content includes three new dungeons that provide tough challenges for high-level players, a new PvP season that gives players incentives on their way to the top, Doomspire Keep, which provides players 50 levels of ever-increasing challenges. That's a lot of levels. The Moon Festival and the usual bug fixes. Overall, it's a pretty sizable content update for those still playing Echo of Soul. Speaking of big content updates, Perfect World Entertainment decided to release their newest update for the free-to-play Dungeons & Dragons inspired Neverwinter. Titled Storm King's Thunder, the new expansion features a new campaign that is broken into three parts, each of which unlock a brand new adventure zone, a new tier 3 dungeon only accessible by those who conquered the new campaign, class balance adjustments, new bosses and enemies, plus your normal array of bug fixes. Those of you guys playing the game on PC can begin playing today, but console players are still lagging behind a bit and will have to wait a little while before seeing the update go live. These content updates do seem to be coming out quite often ever since the game released on consoles. It seemed to have breathed new life into the game. Are you guys playing Neverwinter? Leave me a comment down below. Those of you guys craving new content in the free-to-play Blade and Soul will be happy to hear that on August 24th, NCSoft will be dropping an all-new content update featuring the new Desolate Tome dungeon in addition to quality of life changes. The Desolate Tome is a 4 and 6 player dungeon in the Tome of Exiles, which has been invaded by the Talus army. As for the quality of life changes mentioned a moment ago, players can look forward to revisions regarding costs to evolve weapons and the introduction of a DPS meter. Full details will be available along with the patch, which once again arrives on August the 24th. As of this week, Epic Games' shiny new free-to-play MOBA Paragon is an open beta for PC and the PS4. This means everyone is able to hop in and check it out for free. For those of you guys wondering out there, a while back Epic Games did state that they won't be wiping progress, so those of you who want to go ham, you guys can go ham. Paragon is a MOBA somewhat like Smite. It's an action-based game, so you'll have to keep track of your full 360-degree view by rotating your camera, and you'll have to aim all of your abilities. The best part is, all heroes in Paragon are free, and all power enhancements are earned only through playing the game. So, besides a level gate, you can hop in and play every single hero available without paying a dime. Out of all the brand new MOBAs popping up as of late, which still isn't as high frequency of the releases that we saw a while back when the MOBA craze began, I do fully endorse what Epic Games is doing. Great monetization model, hard focus on improving gameplay, and it's just a fun game in general. If you guys want to play it, all you gotta do is sign up on their website, download the client, update it, and then you are good to go. However, it's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked whether or not a game can have too much depth. A user by the name of Truthful Replier stated the following. It depends how the depth is presented. If the game has adequate tools to progress through the learning phase and allow players to grasp the depth of the game, then the amount of depth within it is not relevant. Thanks for your Truthful Reply, Truthful Replier, and as always, if you guys want your comment possibly featured in next week's episode, make sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, has the MOBA bubble burst? Personally, I think it has due to the slowdown in MOBAs being released. Doesn't mean that there still isn't MOBAs being announced at a decent pace, but it doesn't seem to be the hot thing to do anymore, which I believe is a good thing. You know what else I believe is a good thing? A new expansion for the free-to-play strategy card game Duelist. Yep, our last news story of the week is yet another sizable content update that's always awesome, right? Duelist's new Denzins of Shimzar expansion will bring forth 105 new cards. Among those 105 new cards will be several new faction minions and spells, as well as the new minion tribal battle pets. 
For those wondering when it will be released, you won't have to wait too much longer. Counterplay Games has announced that the new expansion will go live on August 30th. Along with this announcement comes a pre-purchase bundle that allows you to get 50 Spear Orbs for $49.99 USD, which is a fairly good value. Glad to see Duel is getting a new expansion, but I'm also sad about it because now my Exodia themed deck might not be as effective anymore. You know it is never a bad thing, giveaways of course, yes be sure to head on over to MMOBomb.com, check out that giveaways page, bookmark it, and check it daily to ensure you never miss one. As for myself, signing out until next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps and I'll catch you guys next time.